Okay, so this is the final product here uh, without, without the cover on. Um, okay, so the, got the Kurt Echo hooked up. Uh, it's working. Well, it looks like it's working anyway. Um, I took the. Well, you see how I mounted this. It's not not the best, but it is actually fairly stout. It's, I mean, this piece is moving, but the bracket's not. So um, I just used some hose clamps. I cut uh, a slit into the edge of the bracket here, and then I had to cut the bottom of the bracket to get this through because I couldn't figure out how to take this thing apart. And there's no way the other side would have fit through. Um, let me see if I can. Okay, so the wire runs. I zip tied it up behind here, not real tight, because um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bend this too much. Um, but I got it going behind the bumper. If you can see this, behind the bumper, over. I zip tied it to that wire there, and then it goes to its box and then the box goes back out to the connector now here's my issue with this this is the this is the Kia harness um, I'm gonna try and get a good shot here these wires look like they're maybe I want to say like maybe 14 gauge or so at the thickest but if you look at the wires coming out of the tow harness they are at least one gauge bigger than the factory wiring harness so this is the 21 palisade calligraphy so if these wires are trailer wires there's no way that's gonna push 40 amps through there uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're supposed to be rated at but uh, for a seven pin I thought it was 40 amps and that does not look like it's gonna these wires do not look like they can handle 40 amps none of them these do that's from the that's the Kia harness but I may have to end up running another power wire back here we'll see